Hey guys, just thought I'd put together a quick 10 minute video on something I took a bit of a risk on on eBay. This is a FG100 DDS function generator and these things go for between about 13 and 20 quid, something like that. They're on AliExpress and what this will do, well, this will create a, a tone or various kinds of waves on an oscilloscope in order to basically it's, it's a signal generator, it, it creates tones. A lot of people give me a bit of grief over using a, a mobile phone app basically to, to create a signal. And I'll be honest with you, that actually works really well. I've never had any problems with it. It creates a really nice signal on the oscilloscope. But I thought, you know, I'll try one of these. This isn't the old school, uh, big, massive, huge piece of equipment. Like, I mean, this oscilloscope takes up so much bench space, it's absolutely ridiculous. But I thought, for the price of these, I'll give it a go. Now, I bought it blindly, didn't look at any reviews, anything like that. I thought it's cheap enough to give it a, a bit of a blast and see how we get on. But uh, I'll put a link in the description to a video of a guy who looks like an electronics professional. He didn't have much luck with this. I've only literally just seen this as I, as I give a bit of a search on YouTube to see if it was worth putting a video up about it. You know, if, if there's 50 people who've put a video up, then what's the point? But I actually just found the one guy and he absolutely slated it. He said it was absolutely terrible. So as I just unwrapped this in the house, I wasn't really expecting much out of it. But it is a reasonable sized piece of equipment. It's fed through a USB. You get a little power cable with it. And you don't get much else. You get some instructions and the rest of it you kind of left to work out for yourself. However, it's pretty straightforward. It'll create sine waves, which is exactly what I want it for. Which will allow me to input a wave form into a piece of equipment. And then we can maybe do some signal tracing through that piece of equipment. And hopefully, you know, we can find out any problems. Potentially we can also fire this into a tape deck and create our own speed calibration tapes and whatever else if you're confident that deck is in good enough condition. So I've got this hooked up then, this is a USB and I've got a, uh, a converter on there to an RCA and that RCA is going up to my oscilloscope and that's basically it. I'll be truthful with you, I only really need this to create about three different tones which will probably be 3000 hertz, 400 hertz and maybe 8,000 hertz. That's that's really all I need in, in the world of cassette decks. And any other tones really are a bit of a bonus. You know, like, does not want to uh, focus there. Any other tones, I've just realized that you're looking at Van Damme as well uh, throughout this video, so I'll move this over here a little bit. Uh, I only really need those three tones for, for playing with cassette decks and amplifiers and whatever else. So if it creates those three, I'm happy. I think I paid at 17 quid for it i'll stick a link on my ebay purchase history now that's what i paid for it came pretty quick came via yodel as all these things do it's been drop shipped from china let's be honest they always are so we're plugged in and i'm going to turn it on and you can select at the top what kind of wave you'd like i have no idea how to use this i've not used it yet uh, square wave triangle wave sawtooth reverse sawtooth and a sine wave. Now a sine wave is the basic up down curvy line that we see on the oscilloscope and you can put in the frequency of what you want. So uh, 100,000 hertz is 100 kilohertz which is very high. So I'm going to try our good old faithful 3000 hertz. So I believe you knock this down to zero and then you can bump across and select 3000 hertz so once that's done i'm going to press run and hopefully we will see this on our oscilloscope over there so that's running and 3000 hertz you know it it's clean it's not jumping about all over the place we've got nice rounded edges on the bottom of our sine wave the guy in the video that i was just talking about there he did it and it was absolute garbage and i totally agree and i got worried when i opened this up i thought this was going to be terrible but that's our 3000 hertz tone amazing so let's see what else we can get of it our our common ones you've got to press stop so let us try 400 hertz which is what i would use for calibrating the speed of a deck and let's see what that looks like. 
and there's 400 hertz and 400 hertz you know it's refreshing because the refresh rate's the same as my camera but we have 400 hertz awesome the refresh rate is going crazy there that's a little bit more solid perfect 400 hertz and the last one i'm going to try i'll just stop that is going to be let's say 8000 hertz which is the azimuth uh correction tone for nakamichi recommends it's quite high so uh yeah again i'll leave this on sine wave move the cursor over and we want what did i say 8k one two three four five six seven eight move that over to there 8000 hertz and here we have 8000 hertz let's try and just smooth that out a little bit <laughs> there's there is absolutely nothing wrong with how that is producing that tone and sine wave i'm entirely happy about that it seems to be the same volts each time uh whatever the the height means in in technical terms amplitude or the, the the voltage or whatever you want i'm sure you can edit this out on here there's a lot of little functions on it such as filter and things like that so yeah so in reality it was a bit of a risk as i say but i just wanted to offset the fact that perhaps the last guy who picked one of these up had a particularly bad version of it this is exactly what i want it does exactly the right job and uh what more do you want from a 17 quid function generator really uh, i'm going to probably use this i'll be able to put this in at 3000 hertz in the back of a deck i'm working on another sony here which is a k611s again uh, I, I seem to have become a bit of a, a specialist in these more recently I, I'm, I'm trying to be modest about it but i have these things kicking about there's another trans that's a transport out of it and there's another two behind me for ex for an example of use for this we could set this to 3000 hertz input that signal into one of the channels on the back of the deck press record and that will show us the signal going in and then we can also see the signal coming out whilst we're recording or playing especially on a three head deck you can switch to monitor function and just ensure that everything you're putting in is is what you're getting out and what's going on the cassette so yeah so in reality there is obviously different modes if you want to play about with these but i'm just looking at this from a from a perspective of playing with cassette decks and you know calibration cassette decks generally quite simple to calibrate if you have the kit and this basically means i don't have to have a mobile phone line about the place now that has you know it's been charged and i have a spare usb connector for it and everything else but that kind of wraps it up real short eight minute video I think that if you get one of these and it doesn't work, maybe that's a bit of bad luck. But this particular one that I've got here, I'm really happy. It works fine, and it's not a particularly, it's not a particularly bad looking bit of equipment. It's only small. It's about the size of two packets of cigarettes. Should we say two packets of cards if you're a non-smoker? So that's it, really possibly if this is something that you're interested in getting drop a comment below let us know if yours worked out for you and we'll see this in some videos in the future when hopefully i can get some decks calibrated and we can have a play about with it but as far as i'm concerned uh, a nice little cheap addition to the the toolkit and something that potentially you might want to pick up if you're doing this at home all right that's basically it if you like my videos or if you've never seen any of my videos because this isn't a cassette deck if you're searching for a cassette deck um repair have a flick round see what there is and maybe drop a subscribe otherwise have yourself a beautiful day